안녕하세요, 여러분. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 27 of Korean with David. Today, we're going to learn how to say things like, please say it again, please speak more slowly, and like, do you speak English or do you speak Korean? And please write it down. So these are things that you can actually use it more commonly when you visit Korea. So let's start with, please say that again. So we start with, 다시 한번 말해주세요. So 다시 is again. 한번 is like one more time. So that's 다시 한번 말해주세요. So a little slower, that's 다시 한번 말해주세요. 다시 한번 말해주세요. 다시 한번 말해주세요. A little faster, that's 다시 한번 말해주세요. 다시 한번 말해주세요. 다시 한번 말해주세요. So again, that's please say it again. Now, 말해주세요 is like say for me or like please say. Now, if they're speaking too fast, we didn't quite get it, we can actually tell them like please speak more slowly, which is 천천히 말해주세요. So 천천히 is like slowly 말해주세요. Please say again or please say. So we've got 천천히 말해주세요. 천천히 말해주세요. 천천히 말해주세요. A little faster, that's 천천히 말해주세요. 천천히 말해주세요. 천천히 말해주세요. So, again, we've got 다시 한번 말해주세요, which is please say that again. And we've got 천천히 말해주세요, which is please speak more slowly, or please speak slowly. We can use both of these all the time. Now, the next one that's important is please write it down. So, 적어주세요. 적어 is like write, and 주세요 again is like please give me. So, 적어주세요. 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 So, a little faster, that's 적어주세요. 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 Now, we can also ask to like write, which is like 써주세요. 써 is the Korean way, like 쓰다 is like writing. So we can ask 써주세요, which is another way. So let's say it, take it slowly. We've got 써주세요. 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 And again, that's 써주세요. 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 Now, for the next part, we actually just have to learn what English and Korean is in Korean. So we've got English is 영어. So we can ask 영어 할수 있어요? Which is like, can you English? Again, now we can say 말할수 있어요, but we don't have to. So that's 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? A little faster, that's 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? Now, if we want to change it for Korean, we can just say 한국말. So, we can change it out instead of 영어, we can say 한국말. So, again, that's 한국말. Now, again, it doesn't sound right because when you read it, it says 한국말. 한국말. But it kind of has a small, soft L sound. So, 한국말. 한국말. Faster is 한국말. And it kind of sounds like 한글, which is the actual like, Korean letter. So, 한국말 할수 있어요? Now, with all of this, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to send me an email. 
at learnkoreanwithdavid at gmail.com. And make sure to check out our Instagram as well, which is the Learn Korean with David IG. And there, I start posting a little bit more pictures and other things that help you learn more Korean. So, thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. 다음에 봐요. 안녕.